it's four versus four. It's humans on necromorphs. We have five different objective-based maps that tie into the single-player campaign and the look and the feel of the sprawl. Each one of these maps offers a unique objective set. This mode actually is not a deathmatch mode. It's more objective-based, right? You're playing unique objectives on a per-map basis, and the humans will always have an objective to achieve within each one of the maps, and the necromorphs' objectives will always be to stop the humans from completing it. We have four different necromorph types. We have the pack, the spitter, the lurker, and the puker. The pack is your short-range melee character. Your lurker has a long range fire and the ability to wall walk, get on ceilings and kind of access different parts of the maps that other characters will not. You have your spitter, which is a full grown female necromorph and she has the ability to spew toxic spit across the map. And then we have your puker, which is another full grown necromorph and has the ability to basically fire short distance puke but at a higher damage rate. So in multiplayer, the necromorphs spawn as they would in the single player, right? They're vents. And you have the ability to respawn as many times as you want during a match, but you do have a consequence of a respawn timer on certain necromorph classes. You can hop back into the game as soon as you want if you want to play as a pack, but if you want to play as a spitter or a puker, you're going to need to wait for that cooldown time to actually refresh to choose a vent to go and do and, and attack the humans. As the humans, you have the ability to use all these different weapons, right? There's a plethora of weapons in the multiplayer that you can use to your advantage to kind of dismember the necromorphs however you choose, however you see fit. So in the actual map that you're playing today, which is Titan Mines, you have the ability to use the Pulse Rifle, the Plasma Cutter, which is the signature weapon from Dead Space 1, as well as the Javelin Gun, which is all new to Dead Space 2. Security Team Alpha Bravo 9. Top level security breach in the mines. So there's an entire metagame and level progression system that, that integrates with Dead Space 2 multiplayer. On the human side, you have the ability to unlock new weapons as you progress through the metagame and unlock new abilities for those weapons. And you also have the ability to unlock new suit aesthetics, so actually change the look of your human character in game. On the Necromorph side, we actually have abilities that play into the core components of each one of the playstyles of the Necromorphs that you unlock as you progress as well. Work base structure activity has failed. The shock mine has been deactivated. So Dead Space 2 will be available on January 25th, 2011 on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. Yes.